Hello and good morning everybody. Today I'm at the Fisherman Engagement Centre in Sungai Batu, Penang. I'm here because I'm keen to know more about the Penang South Islands. So I brought my friend Joshua who can better explain it to me and to all of us. Joshua, hi. nice to meet you today, this morning. Hi, hi, hi. Hello. Hello. So, Joshua, the reason I'm calling you is I would like to know about this Penang South Island that everybody has been talking about. So perhaps you can you know, share with me something so that I can share with my own uh, readers, my own viewers. Sure, sure. Mm -hmm. I mean, Timothy, you are also familiar with this project. But mm -hmm. Thank you, thank you very much for <laughs> this uh, morning that we yeah. came out, come out here and have a look at the place. Yeah, okay. this place that people always talk about, you know. Uh, wow. Um, I mean. First thing is actually we have to check out the water here because they say that it's a uh, pristine and all that you know but actually there's a lot of mud here and the place here is very shallow so uh, the the reason why they want to uh, build the island here is also because of this reason that it's quite shallow therefore it's uh, suitable for the the expansion of the uh, Penang island itself la. Uh -huh. so uh, as we know that you know Penang island we very lack of land Ah, That's true. Yeah. Back of land. Mm -hmm. And and just behind us you can see all the hill here, right? And uh -huh. I mean you archive the whole Penang. You are the I, I think the only person. <laughs> <laughs> not only Penang actually, I do other states also, but <laughs> maybe not many people know about that, but uh, Penang everybody knows. Uh, yes, correct. <laughs> yes. So I mean the whole Hmm. Site here is yeah. a hill that stretched from the south all the way to the national park in the north. Oh, ha, yeah, ha, ha, ah. ha, ha. Okay, that forms a sort of a central spine across the island, huh? Yes. Ha, ha, and ha, ha. and also, I think for us Penang guides, we would want to you know keep as much of this hill as possible, and therefore we, I think, if I'm not wrong, about fifty percent of the entire island space, uh, uh, actually huge so we can't really do any development mm. yeah, minimal i mean of course there are some mm. small small ones but very minimal mm. uh. do you consider this penang south island a necessity for us i think i think both of us quite quite i mean we we can see the history uh, especially yourself you mm. you i think you were from the south right i'm from ah. batumau i grew up in batumau huh? uh, i grew up in batumau so the area such as permatan damala is very familiar to me Ah, so ah. I mean you grew up there, what kind of transformation have you seen over the years? Oh a lot of transformation. When I was small, huh? Oh I hate it actually because there's so many mosquitoes. Oh, oh okay. <laughs> uh, and then at that time there's paddy fields. Ah okay. there's paddy fields and if you look at Batumau today and Batumau when I was growing up, it's such a vast difference. Uh well, going to school uh, takes forever. Uh. Wow. From from my house up there in Batumau, right? The Batumau back there is so much different from now because it's all very much developed. Mm. There is even um, uh, light industries. Uh, there is housing estates back then. Huh? Uh, there's paddy fields. Yeah, <laughs> there was paddy fields back when, when I was small. There was paddy fields and also, but the sea is the same, more or less the same. Let's go and take a look at the sea here. Right, right. Uh -huh. So, uh, okay, we are now. What is this place? Uh, this is a uh, Pusat Perkhidmatan Setempat Nelayan. Yeah, so what PPSN. Is this for? So, it's actually uh, built by the Penang State Government uh, to uh -huh. uh, engage the local fishermen for the PSI project. Ah, uh, yeah. okay. So, they have all the information here. And uh, this is the latest one. Uh, latest one that they just uh, begin, uh, if I'm not wrong, end of last year. Yeah, so the first one they actually built in 2016. So yeah, have been, okay. yeah. Mm -hmm. so, I mean, this project has been engaging with the local community, especially the fishermen, for more than five, six years. Ah, and so here I'm looking at uh, Penang South Island, right? Mm. Uh -huh. So we are, I think we are somewhere, somewhere here right now, I think. Yes, yeah, I, I think so. Somewhere here right now. Ah, uh, okay. So I think this is the this is the first island that will be reclaimed. Yeah. So this one, if uh, everything goes smooth as announced by the state government, will take about you know seven years to reclaim the whole land. 
and then uh, they will start building and this is very interesting thing this big roof here uh, this is where they park and maintain and service the LRT at night ah oh uh, this is a depot for the RRT correct yes ah, yes, yes okay okay so this hmm. uh, island is uh, needed not only to extend the industrial zone from this one uh, bang yeah. lepas FIZ hmm. but also to put the LRT depot yeah ah, because you look at the size okay. here hmm. I mean this artist impression uh, but roughly hmm. Hmm. we really do lack of land hmm ah yeah. hmm. uh, I stay here. Wow, very I near. to stay here. Okay, <laughs> so uh, from Matam Damala is here. And when I was growing up, at the very beginning, uh, there are villages here also. Ah. If you see here today, you see that it has been cleared for the airport expansion. I see. Uh, so the, the villages were relocated to this here, this side. Uh, so see. that was how it was when I was growing up. But the sea over here, I do know it is muddy. The seabed is muddy. It has been so the whole time. Right. Ah, right. So it is so the whole time over here. Ah. So here we have the Penang South Island. Mm. Ah, I hear of calls to perhaps develop Sabrang Purai instead of uh, having this island. Uh, is that possible instead of having this Penang South Island? Yeah, I mean, um, when we talk about the mainland Sabrang Praia, uh, when we look over it, I mean, we can see quite a lot of sort of empty, empty land. Mm -hmm. uh, but then actually, uh, from our our records, uh, mm -hmm. from our records, we actually only left about ten percent of undeveloped land. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and that ten percent, a lot of them actually privately owned. Uh -huh. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So mm. it's in in terms of let's say in terms of land area percentage compared to the the place itself, for example, Sebrang Prai and also Frog Island, right? Mm -hmm. Sebrang Prai actually has less, much less land. Mm -hmm. Yeah. For island, you mm -hmm. have about fifty percent undeveloped land. Ah, yes. But mm -hmm. for mainland, mm -hmm. there's only like ten percent. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So actually, mm -hmm. lack of land, uh, and we're talking mm -hmm. not only land per se, but strategic land mm -hmm. where we want to boost our industrialization the mm -hmm. next era of industrialization mm -hmm. which is focusing on a lot of the uh, esg mm -hmm. environmental social and governance uh, standards uh -huh. yeah so that is where we hope that uh, this uh, psi i mean penang guides lah, we are looking forward to this uh, new transformation that will bring penang to the next 50 or hun even 100 years ah, yeah okay. Another concern that some people have is that this will enrich the rich and impoverish the poor. Mm. And in particular, the fishermen who are staying here in this place, will they be like pushed aside or brushed aside by this development and their livelihood will be further affected by this? Yeah, um, we, I mean, we cannot also mm. uh, I mean, we cannot blame those who have mm. this perception, you know, mm. reclamation is for the rich because a lot of very those mega projects like in Dubai and mm. also in certain parts in Malaysia, we mm. see that they reclaim it to build rich and luxurious houses, mm. right? Mm. But then for this PSI project, I mean, it's very, very clear that the state government want to extend the industrial zone. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because of the lack of land. So mm -hmm. without land, there's no extension. Without extension, there's no uh, place for foreigners, foreign investors to come in to mm -hmm. build plants and factories. Mm -hmm. And therefore, there won't be jobs and all that, right? Mm -hmm. So because of that, the focus is very much on building up the uh, job market in, in Penang mm -hmm. for the locals. Uh -huh. uh, then from there, then only we can, it's only meaningful to build like housing and also commercial places, business place to expand the uh, uh, economic vibrancy eh, that, of, of Penang. Mm -hmm. As I'm looking out into the sea right now, I suppose in future, the Penang South Island will have three islands somewhere out there, right? Yes, yes. Ah, this is okay. uh, in the middle, like you pointed out just now, mm. this would be the island B. Lah. Now uh, this will be island B, uh -huh, yeah. and then island C will be there, and it will be in sequence A, B, and C. Uh? Yes. Uh, uh, okay. Yeah. Uh -huh. And why do they choose here and not somewhere else? Oh yeah. Um, you, you the southern part, uh, mm -hmm. is is quite strategic. First of all, because of the objective of this island is to extend the industrial zone, mm -hmm. 
so it's very near to the current FIZ place so that is already a mature ecosystem for E&E &E, eh? electrical and electronics manufacturing uh, okay. then second is very near to the airport uh -huh. yeah so easy for logistic eh? because mm. most of our foreign investors comes in they will also export out their mm. products mm -hmm. and of course thirdly is very near to the second bridge Mm -hmm. Yeah, so if they want to send their goods to other parts of Malaysia or even to Thailand, mm -hmm. to Singapore, it's also convenient. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. and actually the fourth one, we seldom talk about it, but actually this part is strategic because it is also very near to Penang's talent hub. Yeah, where we have USM uh -huh, okay. and also Penang Skill Development Center, PSDC. Uh -huh. Yeah, okay. it's an industrial led and driven uh, institution to ah, train up our okay. local talents yeah and okay. and the fourth, fifth one if you can indulge me a little bit okay. more is actually the geographical because this southern part is quite protected from elements yeah not like okay. northern part or the yeah. western part where there is um, um tsunami you know risk of tsunami and yeah. all that oh, yeah okay. so the southern part is quite protected yeah, ge geographically speaking. Lah. How about the concerns of some people that it will destroy our fishing areas and so that will impact the livelihood of the fishermen by taking all of their livelihood because we are uh, occupying this space. Yes, uh, this is a very huge concern as mm. far as I can see uh, mm. for the state government as well as for the project proponent. Mm. And because of that, I think this is the only project in the whole of Malaysia mm -hmm. that engage satellite experts. Mm -hmm. So they before they start, and even reclamation haven't started, they, ex they explore 200, 200 satellite images. Yeah, 200, that means 200 days mm -hmm. to ensure that... Uh, to, to mark actually where the fishermen actually are where their popular uh, fishing area are mm -hmm. right so they found out that indeed there are fishermen who fish in the area mm -hmm. but most of them mm -hmm. actually fish beyond the PSI footprint ah okay yeah okay and these images are not only from the uh, satellite consultant yeah. but also being collaborated by the uh, Malaysian Space Agency I see yeah so it's like two independent um, consultancy mm -hmm. that actually come to the same conclusion. Uh, yeah. Okay. So in a sense where whether it really affect the fishermen, it will definitely um, will affect, you know, even for example in our near our house when they want to build road, it will affect us also. That's you know? Uh, yeah, when uh, they want to expand road or anything, uh, build out public infrastructure, it will affect us for a while. And after that, when the development is done, then it is uh, quite uh, adaptable and also we, we live with it and actually bring convenience to us oh. yeah so for the fisherman one mm. there will be a 250 meter channels yeah in oh. between the main island and also the new island to ensure that fishermen has 24 hours seven days a, a week access to the open sea mm. yeah mm -hmm. where they mm -hmm. can go to the popular fishing area which mm -hmm. is beyond the psi footprint mm. to fish Ah, yeah. Okay. Okay. But this is a very very long term thing, is it? This PSI, it will take decades to complete, I suppose. Yes. Do you have any idea when it might start? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> wow. That is that is what uh, I mean. Both you and I, we have been looking forward now uh, since yes. I think twenty nineteen or twenty eighteen, right? Uh -huh, uh -huh. So and and we also we, we know that uh, we face a lot of Penang, uh, face a lot of obstacle in getting approvals, you know. Uh, mm. I mean, for political reason, for and, and other reasons also lah. Mm. And because of that, um, now that it seems to be the landscape of Malaysians' uh, politics, the relation between Penang and the federal government have changed. Mm. We hope that things can be smoother. Mm -hmm. And if everything goes smooth, if everything goes smooth, eh, then probably we can get the approval for the EIA, the Environmental Impact Assessment, yeah, in okay. I think Jan first 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 quarter of next year. Mm. Yeah, hopefully mm -hmm. January. Mm. Uh, then from there, we have to get the uh, environmental management plan, and we have mm. to get all this. The reason is because this project very give a lot of priority to the environment. Uh -huh. Want to make sure the mitigation are in place. Want to make sure that the project will have minimal impact. And at the same time, through other um, um, mitigation ecological offset program, it will also rejuvenate some of the marine ecosystem here. That is great. Yeah. 
myself, I, uh, well, I, as you know, I am very supportive of this. And for a Penang person like myself, I'm supportive of it because uh, I want a betterment for the livelihood of the people. Not just the, the elites, but also for everybody. And in my opinion, I think this will lead to a better life for all, including the fishermen who are impacted. But eventually, my, uh, my plan, my idea is that this will have a positive impact on their life going mm. forward. So Joshua, thank you very, very much for sharing with me uh, a little bit about this. Uh, Penang South Island, I believe it will in future be in the, the area that we are looking at right now. Huh? Somewhere between here and Pulau Gendi over there. So that will be the Penang South Island. And I do look forward to this and not as a blind pursuit of development, but rather as uh, our state and our country modernizes. I find that sometimes development is a necessity. Mm. It's a necessity that will lead to eventual better preservation of the environment. If we are impoverished, if we are poor, then we will neglect. Our, our priority will be not on the environment but on survival. Mm. But when we are more affluent, when the state, when the country is more affluent, then we have more to spend to protect the environment. Mm. So, uh, for in my opinion is that yes, sometimes development is essential. Development is essential for the eventual preservation of the environment. And for that particular reason, yeah, I'm very, very supportive of this. And thanks so much, Joshua. This will be uh, another video that I'm creating. And when it's done, I will show everybody. Thank you great, so much. Great. Thank you. Thank you very much. Yeah. So my friend, that concludes this video about the Penang South Islands. If you enjoy it, please give it a like, share it, subscribe to this channel and do hit the notification bell. And I look forward to bringing you another video very soon. Until we meet again, thanks for watching.